Welcome back, AI enthusiast. It's your VIP support tech, Morgan, in our beginner's tutorial series on AI upscaling images with Fable Diffusion. We're going to try to get flawless 4K resolution using our powerful AI chatbot. And as always, you can find me and the developers in our Telegram chat, where we are helping people render things 24 seven. It is my pleasure to <laughs> help you render your Keanu's and, and Giga Chats. Okay, let's get started. Here on the left, I have our support website, gradient.ai. We're gonna to scroll to the command section and learn about facelift. Facelift is our general upscaling command. I'm gonna go into the general channel here and we've got some cool pictures. Let's see. Okay, we've got some anime and I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna to reply to it. That's how I select it and now it's got a text box at the bottom where I can write my message and I'm just going to write facelift and I'm going to use the anime mode and we'll set that up. Okay. So that's coming in a few seconds. And while that's facelifting, we can go ahead and try a different prompt and go somewhere else. Okay. So I'm in my chatbot here. I've copied another popular prompt from the internet just to review what we covered in lesson four, the render parameters that you can add here. I've added render. I've added a size, my steps, a sampler, and positive prompts using, using parentheses and negative prompts using square brackets, stabby brackets to make things go away. And I'm going to use the perfect world concept. You can find all of the concepts and styles by going to our website, going into the styles tab, checking our models tracker. And here you have the concept name or the, the, our internal trigger word for every kind of style that you can render in. And I'm going to go ahead and enter on that, send that to render. And let's go back to the channel where we had the upscaling. Okay. So, so pretty, pretty good. There you go. So clean. <laughs> Thanks. Good. And uh, yeah, feel, feel free to check out our Patreon page on the upscaler as well. We have a little bit more information there in our FAQs so, and uh, some examples on how to use it. So you have the three modes, you have facelift, you have facelift slash anime, and we're going to do another mode in this video. Let's go back to my render. Not quite ideal, right? We've got a little, little glitch there. And that's, that's common and that's an easy fix. So facelift by itself, if you type it just like that, this is going to do a similar mode to what's on your um, smartphone, where it kind of smooths blemishes and it's going to hide you know, wrinkles and it's going to hide freckles, small, small age spots, that sort of thing. And sometimes you don't want that. And if you're rendering a landscape, you, you definitely don't want that to, to hit, right? Okay, so here we go. We got our facelift back and her eyes look a lot more ideal. <laughs> nice, nice Apple photo, nice Apple logo. And uh, like I said, we'll, we'll do we'll do the hands one a different different time. That, that's a that's a different process. So in the case of like rendering a landscape, you would want to do slash facelift slash photo. And then that will bypass the face retouching. So your shrubbery doesn't get retouched like a face. So those are the, the, the three basic modes. Now, one thing I wanted to add is and a, and a rookie mistake that I made when I was going into this at first was trying to do a render immediately at 4K, trying to do render size 4K. And that and the reason that doesn't work is stable diffusion models are trained at 512 by 512 or 768 by 768. So when you amplify that and when you, you go into different, very wide aspect ratios, especially, you will get twins. You, you'll get double P. In some cases, that's cool, but you probably don't want the same person in the same shot. And you also get some funny effects like head stacking. So here I, I pulled up our subreddit. It's reddit slash r slash pirate diffusion. And we've got an amazing, hilarious gallery of head glitches when the aspect ratio is too large. And <laughs> As you can see, it's awesome in a different way, right? There, there's a, a few techniques where you can prompt to avoid this. Or if you talk about other things in the scene, you know, the, the tree behind her or put a, put a desk into the scene. So please, please keep that in mind. Okay. So going back to our 
perfect world render here. So we have some Zeldas. Pretty, pretty flawless, I have to say. Perfect world gets anatomy right most of the time. If we don't count the fingers, <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do the fingers one later. But okay, so this photo already looks good. And let's say that we want to upscale it. So we'll do right click reply, right click facelift. I don't want photorealistic results. I want anime this time. And when I say anime, I mean not realistic. So for example, a painting, like this would work well with anime maybe over, over typical reset, retouch type. And uh, let's take a look. Okay, nice. So here at the bottom, if you if you look at where my mouse is, you can see the height. So, we, so we've really pushed the pixels on that original 576 by 960. And we can we can if if there was a a, a glitch in the original, you, you can just go back and you can touch where you prompted it, and it'll take you right back to the prompt, and we can make changes. It works the same way on our website. I'm going to type slash community to launch my private mini website. Here I am. I'm going to get in with my password. Make a pin. Log in. Now it's not going to show me the, the stuff that I was just rendering because I was in another room, but we can still work here. Let's, uh, let's upscale one of my robot fish. <laughs> and it's easier on our on our website. You can just go in and hit the facelift button, and it's the exact same exact same thing. And then we're gonna add uh, maybe a pull down here, so you can get into the the anime and the photo modes, as as we just launched this feature. So that is it for facelift. Morgan, hit me up in the VIP chat, in the beginners chat. Always happy to help you with your images. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.